Alright, so sorry about that. This is part two. We uh, clicked away by accident. And um, that's going to happen. So we're going to um, go back here over to our live <clears throat> and continue on where we left off. So we're flying over Pineapple Island here. responsible for producing over 75% of the pineapples in the world. It is a smaller Hawaiian island which makes it the ideal getaway destination where you will not be overwhelmed by other tourists. To access it on a commercial service one must either fly to Honolulu or Kalui which is found on the nearby island of Maui. You could then need to transfer either by taking a transfer plane or using the ferry service and this takes 45 minutes so it is much simpler to fly on a private plane and land on the island strip. Kualoo Village site is located on the south coast of the island of Lanai. This former fishing village, abandoned in the 1880s, is the largest surviving ruins of a prehistoric Hawaiian village. The archaeological site is very well preserved and covers almost every phase of Hawaiian culture. It was designated a U.S. National Historic Landmark in 1962 and added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1966. The site consists of two historical villages straddling Kornu Gulch, a dry stream bed subject to occasional flash floods after rainstorms at higher elevations. The village on the western side was named Kornu, the one on the eastern side was called Kiriakapu. The land is parched, with little fresh water, but the sheltered bay at the end of the gulch offers access to rich fishing in the deep seas below the high cliffs along the south coast of the island. Ancient Hawaiian bone lords used to troll for pelagic fish were found in Aloha Cave, a small lava tube near the village. The pristine beauty of Hullet Bay earned Hullet Beach the title of America's Best Beach in 1997 from Drive Stephen Leatherman. Located on Manay southern coast, Hullet Bay greets you with a stunning expanse of pearl, white sand and crystal blue waters. Most of the year, this protected bay fronting the luxurious Four Seasons Resort Lanai is the best spot on the island for snorkeling and swimming. Summer conditions are especially prime for swimming. Surf and current tend to pick up during the winter months, though, so swimmers should avoid rough conditions during that season. Open to the public, Hullock Beach Park also has a great beach park complete with picnic tables, barbecue grills, restrooms and showers. One of the highlights of Hullock Bay is its large tide pools located at the eastern side of the bay. Carved out of volcanic rock, these tide pools are well protected, keeping the waters calm for exploring. Tide pools are created when rocky shores are covered and then exposed by the fluctuating tide. Small organisms adapt to this changing landscape, and many hermit crabs, sea stars, or pee or limpets and small fish dwell here. All right, so that <clears throat> is all the Bush Talk radios. For Pineapple Island. <clears throat> so our next stop is over there in Maui. So we can go ahead and do our sim rate. <clears throat> And then we'll make sure that we got enough elevation to clear the uh, peaks of peaks of Maui. The pristine beauty of 
Anthony O'Connor and Anne Hyatt. Get one last look over here at Pineapple Island. Passing through some light clouds. <clears throat> All right, we'll play these two Bush Talk radios. Street and Canal Street in the town of Lahaina, Hawaii, which was the capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii from 1820 to 1845. The 1 1.94 acres park, also known as Lahaina Courthouse Square and commonly called Banyan Tree Park, contains multiple heritage sites on the Lahaina Historic Trail and a self-guided walking tour through the Lahaina Historic Districts. The park occupies the site of the old Lahaina Fort, originally built in 1831. Popili, the royal governor of Maui, built the fort to protect the town from riotous sailors when Lahaina was used as an anchorage for the North Pacific whaling fleet. After the fort was demolished in 1854, a courthouse was built on the site. A portion of the old Lahaina fort was reconstructed in 1964. The old Lahaina courthouse was recognized as a contributing property of the Lahaina Historic District in 1965 and is currently used by the Lahaina Art Society, Lahaina Restoration Foundation and the Lahaina Town Action Committee. Sheriff William owned Smith Planting, an Indian banyan tree in the courtyard square in 1873 to memorialize the 50th anniversary of the first American Protestant mission in Lahaina. The banyan tree has become the largest banyan tree in Hawaii and one of the largest banyan trees in the United States. Its extensive trunk and aerial root system now covers 0.66 acres. The park is managed by the County of Maui and the Lahaina Restoration Foundation. Lahaina is the largest census designated place in West Maui, Maui County, Hawaii, United States and includes the Kanapani and Kapalua Beach Resorts. As of the 2010 census, the CDP had a resident population of 11,704. Lahaina encompasses the coast along Hawaii Route 30 from the tunnel at the south end, through Olawai and to the CDP of Mapili Honokawai to the north. During the tourist season, the population can swell to nearly 40,000 people. Lahaina's popularity as a tropical getaway has made its real estate some of the most expensive in Hawaii. Many luxury homes and condos sell for more than $5 million. <clears throat> All right, so looking at the uh, cliffs of Maui here. I know when I was there, I did some zip lining on one of these. Seems like we can increase our elevation just a touch. So that we can clear these peaks.
wind power is one of the largest wind farms in Hawaii. It is located on the island of Maui above the town of Malia in the West Maui Mountains. Phase 1 of the project was completed in 2006 by developer and operator First Wind and produces 30 megawatts from 20 GE energy, 1.5 megawatt wind turbines. Phase 2, completed in July 2012, built 14 turbines below Phase 1 with an additional 21 megawatts for a total capacity of 51 megawatts serving 18,700 homes. Kaawa is the first wind farm in the United States to use a habitat conservation plan to protect the long-term health of local species, including three endemic birds and one endemic bat. All right, so that's the wind farm right over here. <coughs> and then off to our left, I think it's that. Ea Valley is a lush, stream-cut valley in West Maui, Hawaii, located 3.1 miles west of Wailuku. Because of its natural environment and history, it has become a tourist location. It was designated a National Natural Landmark in 1972. Towering emerald peaks come up the lush valley floor of Ea Valley State Park. Located in central Maui, just west of Wailuku, this peaceful 4,000-acre, 10-mile long park is home to one of Maui's most recognizable landmarks, the 1,200-foot Iao Needle. This iconic green-mantled rock outcropping overlooks Iao Stream and is an ideal attraction for easy hiking and sightseeing. Aside from its natural tropical beauty, sacred Iao Valley has great historical significance. It was here in 1790 at the Battle of Kepaniwai that King Kamahamehe I clashed with Maui's army in his quest to unite the islands. Even with Iao Needle serving as a lookout point, Kamahamehe defeated Maui's forces in a ferocious battle that ultimately changed the course of Hawaiian history. The battle was said to be so bloody that dead bodies blocked Iao stream, and the battle site was named Kepaniwai, Hawaiian for the damming of the waters. All right, now that we passed over the peak of the mountain, we're going to decrease our elevation down here a little bit. <clears throat> As we approach this bush talk. Kandui is a census-designated place in Maui <clears throat> County in the U.S. state of Hawaii. It hosts the county's main airport, deep draft harbor, light industrial areas, and commercial shopping centers. The population was 26,337 at the 2010 census. Kahului is part of the Kahului Wailuku Mahaina Metropolitan Statistical Area, which includes nearby Wailuku and the town and former Wailing village of Lahaina. The retail center for Maui County residents, Kahului has several malls and major stores. Other significant groupings of stores are in Lahaina, such as the Lahaina Kanui Mall, the Happy Valley area of Wailuku, Maui Marketplace, and Maui Mall, which are both also located in Kahului, and the shops at Wailea. Kahului is not generally considered a tourist destination. It does feature the Alexander and Baldwin Sugar Museum, Conahaw Pond State Wildlife Sanctuary, Conahaw Beach County Park, and the Maui Arts and Cultural Center. Kahului is served by Kahului Airport, located outside the CDP. All right, so that is our destination here. What we are going to do is play that last Bush Talk radio, which is right by the airport, or it may even be the airport. Aloha Airlines Flight 243 was a scheduled Aloha Airlines flight between Haida and Honolulu in Hawaii. On April 28, 1988, a Boeing 737-297 serving the flight suffered extensive damage after an explosive decompression in flight, but was able to land safely at Kahului Airport on Maui. There was one fatality, flight attendant Clarabel Lansing, who was ejected from the airplane. Another 65 passengers and crew were injured. Despite the substantial damage inflicted by the decompression, and the loss of one cabin crew member, 
The safe landing of the aircraft established the incident as a significant event in the history of aviation, with far-reaching effects on aviation safety policies and procedures. All right, so it seems like there was a plane crash there. All right, let's see. Speed check is 77. Airport length, I don't know just yet. But we're just gonna spin around here. We did, we were coming in a little high, so we were just going to play that one bush talk radio as we decrease our elevation here and prepare for landing and that'll conclude part two of our uh, halfway point here for our Hawaiian tour we're on the northern part of Maui we're just gonna spin around one last turn for our approach the runway sits right there. Got a good look at the tower. We're coming in on runway number five. Speed check is good. Wind is relatively calm and we're flying into a headwind so landing should be a lot easier. Looks like we got some big airport airplanes there off to the right. Passing over some sort of parking lot. It's probably a decent sized airport. Serving the flight suffered extensive damage after an explosive decompression in flight, but was able to land safely at Kahanui Airport on Maui. There was one fatality, flight attendant Clarabel Marcy, who was ejected from the airplane. Another 65 passengers and crew were injured. Despite the substantial damage inflicted by the decompression and the loss of one cabin crew member, the safe landing of the aircraft established the incident as a significant event in the history of aviation, with far-reaching effects on aviation safety policies and procedures. Alright, so we're just going to follow taxiway A here. And we'll get, um... A little decent taxi speed going. And we'll take, kind of take a look at the airport here. <clears throat> All right, this is taxiway B. Been around the building here. This is general aviation parking over here to the left. That actually takes us to a runway. So we'll spin around this way. <clears throat> And then these are the gates. So not actually connected to a building. I guess. It... So we'll spin around here and see some of the bigger planes that are parked over here. Kind of a little airport tour. 
So these are all the gates. We're passing D27. This is B13. Got a nice little CJ4 over there. And a Boeing. And then we got some more. We got the gas station up here, the parking lot. And uh, another little general aviation parking over here for some smaller planes. So with that, I think that's where we'll park. So we'll just go ahead and take this spot right here. Set our parking brake. And there we have it. So appreciate you tuning in. Hit that subscribe button and um, we'll do some NeoFly career mode flights and um, we'll get number leg number five over our, at our Hawaiian tour adventure here going um, sometime this weekend. So appreciate it once again, guys. We will see you on the next one.